Presenting that award for Best Supporting Actor was Mesa native Troy Kotsur, who made history as the first deaf actor to win last year. Tonight, it doesn't matter where the sound comes from. This is me signing. And I am delighted to honor these... Well, new tonight, our Jordan Bonke has an exclusive interview with Kotsur to talk about what's next in his already historic career is dedicated to the deaf community, the CODA community, and the disabled community. The moment he made history as the first deaf man to win an Academy Award, the Mason native, who spent most of his career fighting for the small number of deaf roles in TV and film, suddenly didn't have to worry as much about auditions. And now everyone wants to set up meetings with me, writers and directors and producers, and they're chasing me. And so After his Best Supporting Actor win in CODA, Child of a Deaf Adult, Kotzer met some important people and made some memorable appearances. Roy Kotzer. Like when he channeled Francis Scott Key to sign the national anthem at the Super Bowl in Glendale. With more than 100 million people watching at home, it's the largest live audience he's ever performed for. A world's biggest stage, right? Coming soon, you'll see Troy as a football coach for a deaf school in a new Disney Plus show. And on HBO, you'll see him alongside Larry David on the new season of Curb Your Enthusiasm. It was a lot of improvisation. So improv that wasn't even in the script. But that Oscar win also allowed Kotzer to bring deaf stories into consideration. Like William Hoy, the first deaf pro baseball player widely credited with creating the hand signals still used in the game today. Or Erastus Smith, a deaf soldier who fought in the Texas Revolutionary War. And now many of these writers and producers are considering adapting these hearing roles to a deaf character. And so I'd be able to tell these stories from a deaf perspective. So I'm pretty impressed with Hollywood beginning to open its mind. When he took his first drama class at Westwood High, telling others in a hearing world he wanted to be an actor had its challenges. And the students would say that Troy was talking too much on the bus. Family friend Benel Amon remembers Kotzer as a Phoenix Day School for the Deaf student who never shied away from telling a story or sharing his ambitions of being in front or even behind the camera. So, you know, that will be his next step. I expect he'll win an award as a director because he will never quit. He will never give up. In Arizona, there's over a million people who are deaf. Nikki Suckup advocates for them with the Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. Inspired so much pride and respect and admiration for the entire community. Kotzer's pursuit to better represent the deaf community in a hearing world will never end. So if you see the Mesa native out in the valley, anywhere, in the supermarket or anywhere, don't be scared to say hi. Jordan Bontke, ABC 15, Arizona.